again, thanks for joining us for another Woodfields Food Review Copycat Recipe. Today we are copycatting currently the most popular fast food item out there. The Big King XL from Burger King. Burger King Big King XL. What is that you ask? It's just like the Big Mac. The Big Mac. Here's the catch. Burger King keeps taking this away, so if you really like it, this is the only way you can get it. Or you can get Big Mac. It's just like the Big Mac. I'm calling BS on their little burger lines. Do you usually get grill marks on the sides of your quarter inch burgers? So they're like, just holding it sideways. Riddle me that. I'm gonna show you how to get that, that flavor, that flame kiss flavor on your own little forming grill. Even more so, this is going to be a far healthier, healthy is a sketchy word, it's healthier. We're cutting the calories from what is like 996 or something like that. It's like above 900, somewhere in the 980, almost a thousand range. It's not exactly accurate because it's only 900 some odd calories if they put the exact portion amount that they say. Special sauce, not McDonald's. Your own savory sauce. <laughs> Burger sauce that's special as well, which is extraordinarily high in calories. So when you get one and it's like oozing out the side, that alone is probably 400 calories. But we're gonna show you how to make it look real pretty and fresh fringe and go, guess what? It's kind of healthy almost. <laughs> and we're making a healthy version of Burger King's Big King, not Big Mac. It's just like the Big Mac. XL. This is how you're gonna make this healthier. First of all, we went and got our buns. We looked at all the bread and see which is actually the lowest. This is what's crazy. Now, if you're doing low carb, you can absolutely go with the thins. Higher fiber, it actually cuts into the amount of carbs, believe it or not. Surprisingly enough, they changed the formula a lot of those thins, and they're 150 calories now for those little itty bitty baby things. For almost the exact same amount, this is 180 calories, so it's 50 calories more. So it's 50 calories more. 30 calories more. We're gonna go ahead and go with that. So of course, for that famous middle piece, I just take that bottom bun and squish it down. We'll go, no, it's a special bun. This is like Kraft Singles. Now, not all um, fake American Kraft cheese singles are created equal. If you get the right ones, you get light, they're 40 each. That cuts a lot off. And they all, honestly, they melt great and they taste good. The thing that's most important is your ground beef. Burger King uses, I'd like to say 80-20. I don't think it's 80-20. I think it's probably 73-27. Super, super fatty. Just monitor how much you put on, get yourself some of this. Whereas McDonald's is really sweet, Burger King's it's horseradish, so boom, you heard it here first, unless you heard it somewhere else. That's how you make a healthy burger. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> well, that's a pound, so you cut that in half, that's a half pound, then you do a half, half. and a half, and then you got your quarter. Boom, math lesson. So it's 50 calories more. So you take that half, you make a burger, you, throw that half, you take that half and throw it against the wall. <laughs> flatten it out enough to fit your bun, and if you use a fattier meat, it's gonna shrink up. You want a little bleed over. Yep, it looks better. Tastes and that's how they do it, so. Yeah. Add a dash of salt, Worcestershire sauce. What is it? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And the secret to make it taste flame broiled is liquid smoke. One dot each. So that liquid smoke and Worcestershire sauce are all over the whole patty. Stick it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Unlike the Big Mac, which has them sliced into little tiny little baby pieces, Burger King's like, we do it our way. They're just circles. Go. It's that easy. And when you are trying to be healthier, of course, you need beer. It's for your mental health. For our belly wash. And a big orange belly wash. To wash down our Burger King Big King not a Big Mac. Just like the Big Mac. Cigar City's own Toco Baga. That's a red IPA. That kicks a little bit of a punch, which makes, it kicks the punch. <laughs> it's 7.2% and it's quite tasty. We make the healthy burger so that we can then not feel so guilty about having 200 plus calorie beers. I think it's 256. There you go. <laughs> so, first you gotta toast the buns and you can toast your buns on I am so childish every time I say that. I think it beeps in my head laughing at that. But you can toast your buns on the formal grill. And this is how you do it without toasting the top, the sesame seed. Little spritz, spritz, Frank Fritz. Jen hates that. It's stupid. Start burning the outside of the bread. And then you go. Oh. And there you have it. There's your toasted bread. If you want the middle piece toasted, just... And if you're one of those people and you're insistent on being accurate, you can just go like this. 
There you go. No crust. Jesus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three minutes per each patty. Time to build. And there you have it, folks. That's how you make yourself a Genoan Bonafide Burger King. Big King, not a Big Mac. Just like the Big Mac. Depending on how much sauce they put on there, could run you 1,000 to 1,200. With the meat, we're talking, especially with the drain, 250 to 300. The bun, especially since we sliced that little end off, we made it even thinner. Um, you can omit that all together, but it's not really the Big King, not a Big Mac. Yeah, so. It's supposed to have a little bread in the middle. You got 40 per slice of the cheese, so 80. You've got Two tablespoons of sauce, exactly, so it's 100 calories. Bread is 180 plus about 40, so we're talking 240. So this whole thing's about 600 calories. <music> calories, schmalories, you know what counts. What does it taste like? She almost dropped it. Bottoms up, friends. Mm. Oh, no. I don't know what it is about American cheese. It's just so damn good. Right it there. melts, yeah. I mean, it's such a generic cheese. It's like cheese food. It's like cheese. We're dropping pickles like crazy. Yeah. That little bit of liquid smoke in there, a little wish higher higher sauce, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. It gives it a flame broiled quality. It really does. And that's right on your formal cup. Yep, it really helps. By all means, throw it out in the ground, fire it up. It's going to taste even better. Believe it or not. Add some more of that. More calories. I, want, I just want to get a good taste of it. I haven't gotten a good taste of it the yet. The special sauce. Now, we looked at the picture, and it seems like the special sauce might have relish in it, but we're already putting all these pickles on it. What really makes it taste like a Big King, though, you the get onion. The, the onion. The onion and the pickle just instantly, you're like, God, it really does kind of taste like yeah, a damn Whopper. It really does. It tastes like it. It's a little good. Certain combinations of the flavors, instantly your brain kind of goes to Burger King. Mm -hmm. So as a copycat, it works. Is it dead on? No. No. Cutting your calories almost in half. If you're on a diet and you really, really want a Whopper or a Big King, this is the way to go. You can also make it even healthier if you wanted to. You can. You I really mean, could. you can cut out the special sauce. You can get smaller buns. You can cut out the middle bun. There's a lot of things. You can make this probably four or 500 calorie mm -hmm. burger and it's still very tasty and very similar. Yep. I can't stop eating this. That's really good. It's almost guilt free. Almost. Almost. Highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gotta throw in a healthy one every now and then. But I thought it was kind of cool because I make these all the time at home like Whoppers or Big Macs. And I'm like, man, are there so much less calories? Anyway, guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought of this recipe. You'd like to see us do more healthy recipes or maybe a balance or no more healthy. We gotta get, get that out of here. And for anyone who's like, you're just copping healthy junk food. JP told me to do this. So it was his idea. So you want to do healthy ones? Yeah. Oh, well, to copy him. Oh. <laughs> JP and I quote, copy what we're doing. If something does well, you do it. Don't have to tell me twice. If you've got recipe ideas or anything, uh, we're waiting for fast food to come out. We haven't had anything other than this. Other than this, and then we got we, it late. We, yeah, we didn't get it early at all. I don't even know if we have it. Technically we now. looked recently and we still don't have it. They don't put it on the marquee or anything. So you know what? Screw you, BK. We, we made, made it our ourselves. <laughs> Put your words in the sentence format, put it in the comments below and we can communicate because that's how it works. Let us know what recipes you'd like to see, what videos you'd like to see. We've got our hashtag with Field Food Review coming up real soon. We've got all kinds of really cool ideas for that. And all kinds of other, everyone's like, yeah, right, whatever. Really, at this point, we're just getting settled, kind of waiting for income tax, you know what I mean? Covering from the holidays and a bunch of stuff going on, but we're getting there. We're getting there once we got there. We're gonna stay there. We're never gonna leave there, and I hope you all stay there with us. But anyway, guys, hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. You can follow us on Patreon, you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter. That way you'll know for a fact every time a video comes out. I think I've been speaking 
pretty quick here, and I haven't even had any caffeine in the last 10 minutes, so <laughs> I think that's something. Anyway, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and until next time. Gonna eat. Eight, seven, 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 eight,